With the new school year starting in just a few short weeks, New Jersey making big changes to its testing protocols for unvaccinated workers. Starting September 1st, the governor is lifting the mandate for teachers, child care workers and state employees to get repeatedly tested uh, for tested for COVID if they never received a COVID vaccine. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles is live in Newark. Darla. Well, Shade, the first day of school here in Newark is September 6th. And here at Central High School this evening, the superintendent and a group of students and teachers are going to be getting ready for that. But Newark is the largest district in the state. So undoubtedly, the lifting of this mandate and executive order impacts this district the greatest. It's a clear sign, uh, especially coming from our governor, uh, that things are looking a whole lot better today. This video produced by Newark Public Schools is a clear sign that back to school is around the corner. Another clear sign, changes to COVID requirements. Given the realities of that we lived over the last two and a half years, puts a number of things into perspective. The reality since last October has been weekly COVID testing requirements for certain groups of unvaccinated workers, a compromise for those who did not want to get the vaccine. But Governor Murphy issued an executive order Monday that beginning September 1st, unvaccinated school employees and staff, child care workers and state contractors will no longer have to undergo routine testing. At a certain point in time, we were strict in the city of Newark and especially the school system. We were expecting it. We have had conversations on and off over the summer with uh, with uh, government uh, staff members and members of the legislature. Teachers unions across the state say they've been eagerly awaiting updated CDC guidance in order to make this move. Late Monday afternoon, NJEA President Sean M. Spiller issued a statement saying the decision to end mandatory screening tests for unvaccinated individuals is another encouraging step back to normalcy. But the order also says individual districts still have the final say. As the executive order states, it, uh, school districts and school superintendents are allowed to monitor and adjust based on their local needs. And while testing requirements remain in effect for congregate and healthcare settings and correctional facilities, school districts are welcoming the change. The fact that the state is moving in that direction, uh, we're extremely excited to be moving in the same direction as well. Now, in terms of numbers, this employ this affects about a thousand employees and staff members here in the city of Newark and in their public school system. And the district, uh, the superintendent, told me this afternoon that all of them are happy they no longer have to go through this extra step.